Welcome to another shave here on the Soap Thing Project. In this video, we are going to continue our journey down the line of the Chosen 12. The Chosen One for the month of February is this one right here. It's Shannon Soap's Indigo Oud. And the theme, or the category, for February was it had to be an Oud scent. And sadly, the coin toss loser was the Highland Springs Soap Company Tobacco Oud, which is a phenomenal scent, but hey, the Indigo Oud is also a phenomenal scent, and we're going to talk about it during the shave. But that is the coin toss winner, is Shannon Soap's Indigo Oud. $20 for 4 ounces of soap. It is a tallow-based soap. Tallow, cocoa butter, avocado oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, coconut oil, glycerin, lanolin, goat milk, vitamin E, and essential oils. So quite a wonderful soap base in the Rust Belt Reserve base, of all things. Yeah, that's the soap, and we're going to talk about it during the shave, how it shaves, how it smells. Good stuff. we got the matching aftershave indigo oud, because this scent is unique enough that I couldn't just not have the matching aftershave. Got the Razor Rock Mamba 70. 0.70 millimeter blade gap, of course. 316 stainless steel, made in Canada. I'm gonna put a Tatra blade into it. I don't think I've ever seen Tatras come in this kind of packaging, but hey, how bad can it be? I'm gonna give them a try. And the brush is going to be this wonderful AP Shave Co. Night Sky 24 millimeter G5C from Japan. Lovely knot on this thing. Okay. Let's do a shave. So, funny story, it is February 6th at the time this video is actually being filmed. It won't go up on the project until the end of February. But today, this day in history, February 6th, the area in and around Adana, Turkey, where Inserlik Air Base and myself are currently located, got hit with 
a series of earthquakes, at least three of them, starting at about 0400 with a 7.8 magnitude earthquake uh, just out to the east of Adana. <clears throat> And it shook the whole damn house. It shook me clean out of bed. So it was it was a rough one. Uh, and the funny thing is, it happened at about like 10 after 4 in the morning. Within minutes of this uh, earthquake happening, I get a text message from none other than Anthony Esposito. Because I guess he has an earthquake app on his phone. He was like, hey dude, did you just have an earthquake? And I was like, yeah, I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. So, cool stuff from Anthony Esposito to think to check on a brother. I do appreciate it. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about the soap. We have the Shannon Soaps Indigo Oud lathered into the bottom of the Langley City Shave Bowl with a four out of five cent strength on the sniff meter And we're going to apply it to 36 hours growth. Here we go. We actually had a, another pretty gnarly earthquake about uh, 10 minutes ago. That one felt pretty bad, but not as bad as the first one. So if things start shaking and I take off out the door, that would be why. Because we've had a couple of pretty good earthquakes and then a couple of aftershocks to boot. So Now, Razor Rock Mamba 70 with a Tatra blade in it. And believe it or not, real quick, when you open up these, the packs are the same color as the box. Which I, I love it when, when blade makers do that. I love it when the... The sub packaging is the same as the packaging. Just a little uh, notation there for whatever that's worth. All right, here we go. Whoa. Right off the bat, that is tuggy. It's shaven, but not very smoothly. Hmm, that's disappointing because they're kind of good looking blades. All right. Ooh, wee. It's not particularly close either. Okay, well, let's power through it. Now, scent notes for Shannon Soap's Indigo Oud. Vanilla, sandalwood, oud, leather, tobacco, ambergris, and topped off with black currant and bergamot. So those are, I'm guessing, not in order of precedence. Because I'm seeing notes towards the top that are normally base notes, and base notes towards the bottom that are normally top notes, but I'll digress. Wow, that is not if... Wow. That's like leaving stuff behind. Okay, well, I pulled it out of the pack, so I gotta use it. So, let's talk about this scent. Now... Ah, uh, yeah, definitely not using these again. Um... So this is a really interesting take on oud. It's oud and black currant, which gives it this kind of tart woodiness that I can't explain any other way than it kind of smells, it kind of shakes out the whole thing to smell resinous. Like the first impression that I got when I smelled it for the first time is that like that smells like a really forgiving take on pine sap is what it smells like. It's really interesting. Uh, and it quickly shot up to being one of my all-time favorite scents. And it's one of Shannon's all-time favorite scents. That and uh, Timeless Etheria, if I remember right. Oh, man. Right there, there. That is not comfortable at all. Jesus. And it's, it's not even... I'm going to take this blade out. I'm gonna try another one because I'm hoping like maybe maybe I got a a uh, just bad blade and the rest of them are gonna be 
A-OK. -okay. There we go, there's the old one, just so you can see that I am not full of shit. And I'm gonna pull out another one. I'm hoping that that one was just a fluke. Put this into the uh, Razor Rock Mamba 70, and this that's really gripping the, the base plate pretty tight. So these are some oddball blades in a couple of ways. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna, well, I didn't really shave in that area as much as I would like to, but let's just go ahead and do a second pass. Let's just skip straight to pass number two. But yeah, it, it kind of has that... Uh, that scent that I identify with, because I grew up in the woods of northern Michigan, out in Antrim County, Michigan. <clears throat> and this scent that I'm getting from Indigo Oud is invoking a really strong scent memory of just walking through the woods and having that kind of uh, boreal something, kind of piney, pine sap sort of smell. Uh, I've talked to other people, and a lot of other people don't get that same vibe off of it. But that's what I get. The the black currant and the oud and uh, the ambergris and probably the bergamot and the sandalwood are coming together. And it might be the leather, too. Because this does smell a bit leathery. It's got a lot going on. I'll just leave it at that. It doesn't smell like your typical take on bay rum. The the black currant is really is kind of stealing the show. And you know, woody scents with black currant is pretty uncommon. I don't think I, I know of anybody else who uh, who does it quite like that. Definitely worth checking out though. This one's, this blade's not much better. Oh, man. It's not particularly close and not taking a ton of hair off. Man, it hurts. Why are these just not sharp? Man. You know what? I'm the, yeah, I'm, I give up. I'm taking this one out and I'm gonna go to a Gillette Nasset. I got a, a Gillette Nasset sitting here with, uh, I think, one shave on it. Put that in the Razor Rock Mamba 70 and touch places up. Well, I think I might have to do a third pass, which is not normal for me. But, yeah, those blades are no thank you. So as such, this video might be taking a little bit longer than normal. Oh, let's just try against the grain. What the hell? Why not? See, that is buttery smooth. Gillette Nasset, second use. Oh yeah. I haven't done the Fool's Pass in a while. Wonderful. Yeah, never using those. Never using those Tatra blades again. I'm gonna slam those bitches right in the garbage can. Uh, 
Okay. Love the scent of this soap, though. The scent is good. Sick, slickness. Sickness. Yeah, the sickness on this stuff is pretty freaking sick. Wow. Anyway, uh, the slickness on this stuff, both primary and residual, is everything I could possibly ask for, especially for somebody who likes to blade buff a lot. Great stuff. All right, let's have a rinse. Oh, after, after three passes, after three passes, I'm gonna go with, that's a pretty good shave, and no nicks. You know, say what you want about the Mamba 70. Uh, when was the last time I got a nick with this thing since I've been using it. I don't think there has been one. Maybe maybe one. But go back and look at some of my older videos where I'm using other things. I nick myself a lot. And this one, this razor is just good to go, at least for my shaving habits. Okay, let's do the aftershave. Okay, we got the Indigo Oud Rust Belt Reserve from Shannon Soaps right here. Now, for Shannon Soaps aftershaves, you do tend to want to shake these quite a lot because the ingredients in the aftershaves do not want to tend to stay fused together. Let's put it that way. Okay, that should be enough. <clears throat> Top of the cap came out with it. And this does have a rev limiter, so you don't have to worry about peeling out with this one. Put it on. Interesting. That is a different kind of scent out of the aftershave bottle than it is off of the soap. It's brighter, and uh, I'm getting a lot more black currant and uh, and bergamot and ambergris, and a lot less of the other woods. So it's good though. This has definitely got a special place in my den just because it, it generates a scent memory that that very few other scents generate. Let's, let's put it that way. I mean, I have a handful of scents that I could never possibly let go of just because they invoke memories. This is one of them. So I suppose you could say this is soap thing approved. I definitely would buy another one of these if I exhausted it to an empty tub. That you can be damn sure of. Okay, that's the shave for today. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.